FanDuel, you guys know it's yeah! the place to be if you want to get in on any sports gambling action this season. It is America's number one fan book, guaranteed. Right now, brand new customers get $200 in bonus bets. Win or lose, guaranteed, if you place a $5 bet. That's $5 that turns into $200 in bonus bets. Win or lose, so if you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there is literally no better time to get in on the action than right now. The app is so easy to use. It's simple. And they have betting options on everything from spreads, player props, over-unders, and much, much more. So head over to FanDuel.com slash UCSS to get in on the NFL action, the World Series action, the NBA tips off tonight. They have NBA props. Anything you need, it is officially at FanDuel.com slash UCSS. And how about this, guys? Our guy Darren Smith on FanDuel turned a $5 ticket. Nice a nine-part same-game parlay. What? into $275 on alternate spreads. He had Zay Flowers over 50 yards, Mark Andrews over 40, Amon Ross St. Brown over 60, Josh Reynolds over 40, Sam Laporta over 25, Lamar Jackson over 200, Jared Goff over 225, Gus Edwards over 40, and Justice Hill over 25. They all hit, and wow. he turned $5 into 275 Ooh, Shout out sweet. to our guy, Darren Smith. If you want to be the next big-time winner, well, you better be doing it with FanDuel.com. Slash wow. Talk crazy. about low risk, high reward. I mean, you're only risking five I'm gonna, bucks. I'm going to tell you right now, my boy Earl the Pearl got a parlay cooking there. Earl the Pearl can't even fit. He's he, listen, starters of his family. Earl, Earl, right. Earl might. Oh, we can't, hit we can't go on a tangent. By the way, the Browns three point uh, underdog still on FanDuel. Sorry, what, Mike. What, go ahead. What parlay does he have cooking? You have to ask Earl to, to explain it, but Earl showed it to me for tonight's NBA action. Yeah. It's. Mm. It's really good. We're going to tease okay. that at 12 o'clock. We'll Very give you good. Earl's bets. Let's get into some realistic, fun, and best quarterback two meter. options for the Cleveland Browns. Full disclosure, we got your guys' answers yesterday before Monday Night Football. So, boy, yeah. you're up first with Kirk Cousins. Yeah. And I believe your, yeah. uh, your answer is yeah. going to change. So. Well, that's – I mean, Kirk Cousins is now out, out the window because the Vikings, they beat the Niners. They've won two in a row now. I thought they would definitely lose. I thought they'd be two and five and ready to sell. At three and four, they can't sell especially off a win off the Niners. They're not going to trade their quarterback who probably doesn't want to be traded anyway. Right. Uh, so I would take it. I had it as a nine, I think. Yes. But uh, wow. because Kirk Cousins is the only difference maker the Browns could get at quarterback. But unfortunately, with the, the Vikings winning yesterday, they're the eighth seed in the AFC, which means they're just one spot out of the playoffs. NFC. Uh, the NFC, sorry. Yeah, and their division. I mean, I know Detroit's got a nice lead, yeah. but maybe Detroit's. I mean, flawed. they're only two games back in Detroit. That win changes it. You know, two weeks ago they were one and four, and now they're three and four. So I don't think he's gonna. I, he obviously wasn't likely to get traded anyway, but now it's off the table. But had it had it still been on the table, and by some reason it still is, it's a nine uh, because he's a good NFL quarterback, mm -hmm. and he is the only good NFL quarterback that I could could have seen any possibility of the Browns getting. Yeah. I agree. I, 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 I yeah. agree with everything you said. Um, you I would also have it at a nine? I, yeah, I had it at a nine as well. Um, obviously, with the fact that he worked with Kevin Stefanski, you know, that's a guy that can come in. And Obviously, now don't get me wrong, the playbook has changed a little bit, but I think when it comes to speaking the same language, those two will be able yeah. to get it back. And as far as the guy that's been to the playoffs, has some playoff experience, I think that he would come in and be the best option. He probably would look probably the best. They still need to get some weapons at wide receiver, though. But, yeah. but look, you know, he loses Justin Jefferson. He played great yesterday. He did. I, I, well, what? they got in it because J Jordan Addison is really good. He's really good. He's, yeah. I knew that coming Man. in. He's yeah, really they, good. They, they had these guys. They I, hate, some, I hate you, okay? <laughs> I really, I really, they really <laughs> next level special. Oh, he on this team, huh, right? Yeah. yeah okay. 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 I got him like 34 okay. points hey, yesterday. Hey, okay. I, I like the – obviously, if, if if all things were equal, that's a great pick. I mean, he's the best available quarterback, like Bull said. Mm -hmm. He just wasn't – he's not leaving Minnesota. No. I, I, I so thought – for that reason, I said just – I can't even rate it because he's not into it. I, I thought he played really well, like like with the little receivers he had. Cats was open. He was getting rid of the ball, like you know what I'm saying. Like he, he split carries between Acres and Madison. Like you know he came out there and showed. I, I don't think he's. I think he's a borderline top ten dude, bro. Like like I can't. I, Troy yeah, Aikman I, said last yeah. night he's a top ten. Oh, quarterback. I, he's yeah. definitely yeah. top ten. He's on the back end. He's on the back end. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He got moments. But he's still got to prove the moments. That with <laughs> last night's win, he's now three and ten in prime time. He's done. He looked better than your boy. Next to nothing in the playoffs, and 
Bull is always on record as saying, this is about the playoffs. That's yeah. where you earn your money. And I think he's a very serviceable regular season quarterback and probably the best option for the Browns. But, you know, it doesn't clinch that you're going to do anything. No, but it would Because give... he hasn't had success in oh, that level. Well, if, yeah. Watson's, if Watson was going to miss the rest of the year, he would be by far the best option yes. if they yes. could get him. Yeah. And, and I, I would think that going with that defense... Kirk Cousins oh. will have a, a much improved chance to win in a, a pro, They didn't lose season. that playoff game to the Giants last year because of Kirk Cousins. I mean, he played great in no. that game. They couldn't stop Daniel. They lost side, their defense. Side note, how many wins does Deshaun have in the playoffs? One. One. Wow. And Cousins has one also. Oh, okay. That's it. All right, well, who's next? We're going to go. G. Bush is up next. And, G., you brought this up on the show yesterday. We have talked about Jacoby Brissett in the past. But where is Jacoby Brissett to you on your Kool-Aid meter, G? Man, I, listen, out of the guys that you sent me, I'm not going <laughs> to tell you who they are because we'll go through them. Um, I got Jacoby Brissett at eight. Oh. And the reason I have him, and, and Mike gave a specific, you know, he wanted to be realistic, fun meter, uh, all, the, all that above. But I think it, it's – the. The most realistic of the best of the rest besides um, we just talked about uh, Kirk Cousins. Because he's been here. The money is minimal. The people, the guys in the locker room love him. Just watch the interaction after the game when they play Washington. Yep. He knows the system. Uh, he played the best, the best football of his life under Kevin Stefanski. And I believe that the team would get such a big jolt of energy. Because it would be like, okay, like now we, we, this is what we talking about. We can win some games with him. Just like Kareem Hunt coming yep. back. That's exactly what I'm looking at. And even even this, Deshaun Watson has already had him, uh, is already comfortable with Jacoby Brissett coming in and him coming out. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, oh, I'm on IR. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to be upset. It's going to cause locker room problems because they've already did this song and dance. And, and Jacoby Brissett plays his role the best I've ever played in. He, he's the best mistress quarterback in the game. Placeholder. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he, he, this is the mistress quarterback. He's not telling on nobody. Mm -hmm. He takes it to the grave, loves you to death. And this guy doesn't have a problem not being the wife. And he's was, the second. And he's got great leadership. I mean, the way he carries himself, you know, everybody's behind him for sure. The only thing about him is that if he did come back, you ain't getting number seven back. That's D, that's D Hop's jersey. <laughs> that, that boy about to be special teams player of the week two weeks in a row. So I think me. out of everybody, I, I would say he's probably the best option for the Cleveland Browns at this particular moment. Uh, given the fact that Kirk Cousins is not an option. I can't really disagree with that. Bull, I mean, I got it as, I got it as, I, I'm not going to give it an eight because he doesn't, I'm not excited to have Jacoby Brissett. Of the, I agree with you guys. He's probably, if not the best option of whatever's left, he's as good as anybody else. Yeah. But because he's not that good, I can't go higher than a five. I, if you go back and watch it, Tyvis, there are games when Jacoby Brissett is low key lights out, but I, I don't trust him in a big spot. Well, yeah, late, listen, late in game. a lot of games when there yeah. was a chance, yeah. he threw the pick. Yeah. He's not. He did like, do that. He he do, they do know, that. Then he had the Temple Bay game. Overall, he's going to be. Overall, I think he's fairly efficient. He's not <laughs> overly turnover prone. Right. That's what you. But mean. if I need to win a game with a last minute drive, I, I don't trust that he's going to get. Yeah, it. Well, who out of there do you? Nobody. Exactly. Nobody. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he <laughs> listen. He did give you two game winning drives, though. He, he did it in Carolina. He did it against Tampa Bay. He did. That's two last year. It's a pretty good team. He also made some big mistakes late in games that cost him games. I think but if you were some picks that were costly. Yeah. At the end of the day, whatever quarterback they decide it's to better than PJ. They, it's better that, than what we got that, going right now. And they still need to look at their wide receiver room. I, 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 that's to me personally. I think those are the two things. Well, I don't know. I mean, we we do have one touchdown through six games out of those wide receivers. Balling, right? The that's problem good, is, man. is that good? Is that that's not good? <laughs> you, Tyrus, know, you had the sad thing. Is, one in six games. That's bad. Wasn't that a fence rider question last week? <laughs> well, I the, can't, did I say no or yes? Is, what, what wide receiver are you going to get that's you that much better than the guys you have? I don't know who's available. I have to look at who's. Hollywood Brown is the most realistic wide receiver. I mean, Hollywood Brown's a nice player. Hollywood I'll take can it. stretch but, the field. But, but the problem but is Hollywood's not pick, putting up big numbers of P.J. Walker. No, I think yeah. that's I think why we make it two. That's why I say yeah, you, you, you need two. Yeah. That's why it's a pick two. You need a quarterback <laughs> and wide receiver. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jay, you are up next with your debut in the Kool Aid Meter, and yeah. your first quarterback we'll option was Mr. Josh Dobbs. Purple. What's yeah. your take on Josh Dobbs? I, I went seven, and here's Oof. why. 
I want the plug and play factor. Sheesh. By the way, take note that my favorite Kool Aid flavor is grape. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like I, that's drink. that's a nice cost. Purple big, drink. Big. So I <laughs> look again. Nobody excites me. Well, there is one guy that excites me. Uh, hasn't been on this list yet. We'll get Pause. there. I promise. Pause is right. There you go. <laughs> hey, that's all right. G. Bush <laughs> just that said that uh, Brissette's okay with being the wife. <laughs> right. I didn't say a word. <laughs> I just <laughs> let it let it roll. <laughs> I let it linger. <laughs> Let it marinate. cut nobody off. I did. I just let you. You were on a roll. <laughs> uh, I just. I'm, it's the plug and play factor. And this guy. I don't know how he did it. He's kept them in just about every game, and he beat the Cowboys. Yeah, they're fraudulent. And so he knows the system. Yeah. And again, the plug and play factor for me is pretty big. I, I it's like likely that. we're going to need somebody Sunday. I just, uh, guys. The more I think about this Deshaun Watson thing. I think he's done. And I think if he does come back, he's going to look very similar to what he looked like in his five throws on Sunday. When you say done, you're talking about for this season? This season. Yeah, okay. I, I, yes, this I, season. I kind of think so. I too. think so, too. And by the way, that does get me one step closer to thinking he's done done. Yeah, you're yeah, right. That's, That's true, true. Because it's been yeah. five years since That's his last true. good football. Done, 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 done. Well, we have the Tennessee game. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you guys wildly disagree? Do you generally? I, no. I, I mean, seven. I thought I someone would, would disagree with the seven. I, I no, would say I think, six. I, what? You guys are crazy with your grades. I give Josh Dobbs like a three at that. Okay, good. That's what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, I mean. So, I, I Josh, think, by the way, here, d- Josh Dobbs has a worse PFF passing grade than, we don't, we don't than go, Deshaun Watson. We don't go off. Well, yeah. look, Deshaun, that's third. But we, don't, that's we, don't, barrel. we don't do PFF. They're well, dead I'm doing, I don't. <laughs> don't bring up, dead here, don't bring up PFF to me. Here's the quarterbacks with worse throwing grades than Josh Dobbs this year. According to? That have played. Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, Daniel Jones, <laughs> Bryce Young, and Desmond Ritter. That's the list. According to? BFF. Yeah, they're dead to me. So I, I well, okay. Dead that, what, what I'm, what we going on is the fact that PJ Walker. You ask yourself who you want PJ Walker, or any of these guys, and I think everybody yeah, is but, saying but any but of these seven, guys. Seven. <laughs> Josh Dobbs stinks. He's uh, barely better. Oh, I don't wait. know that he's much better. Oh no. He beat the Cowboys this year. Oh. It's one game. Okay. I can't. Who I'll has more it. wins this year, PJ Walker it. or Josh Dobbs? PJ Walker. PJ Walker. Walker's won one more games. He but, played two. But, but, oh, so let's keep PJ. But you've seen the game. No, he stinks. Oh, that's you what I'm saying. Like, no, it's not what you're saying. At least, you, at least Josh Dobbs knows You keep this saying he offense. beat the Cowboys. He, he, he won did. one game. It's his only game. Well, he didn't play that. Did he play that great in that game? Actually, what really cost the, Dallas <laughs> the game was Zach, uh, Dak's turnovers inside the red zone. But he, they won the game. They beat Dallas. That's their only win. I know it is, and I can't figure out how they've played. Dallas some other played pretty good close. that game, by the way. He did. He didn't. He didn't. He wasn't like that. 100, 190 but. yards, a touchdown, 60 yards on the ground. His QBR was at 84.4, and his QB rating was a 122. Yeah, I mean that's those are good numbers. Look, he's not Joe Montana, but he's better not than DJ Walker. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's that's a, look. I'm these are of the choices that I have. I like Brissett and I like Dobbs for the reason that I've said. They've then, got familiarity with the offense, and the terminology, the personnel. They you, come in you know and they play else? on Sunday. You know who else does? Who's that? DTR. Uh, listen, I brought him up yesterday. I said, I'm not so sure I'm not willing to give him a second look. Now, I, I think do Bull, it somebody Seattle. made a good point. I think yeah. it was Bull. I don't know that you want to throw him back in in that atmosphere. Yeah, maybe, not in Seattle. Maybe it was Jason. Not yeah. in Seattle. Just because Seattle has sacked Giants quarterbacks 11 times. Ooh. Seattle's you can't a, hear in that building. Yeah, it's a tough place. Yeah, to play. I would And put him in there. he wasn't so good at making I, progression reads when he was out. Is there. Arizona after Seattle? Yes. Okay. Yes. That, that, that as, was as poorly as BJ Walker has played, <coughs> I'm not going to replace him with DTR because in the end they've won the games he's played. So yeah. I'm only going to replace him if I can get a better guy from. What if it's at halftime? It's 31 nothing. Oh, put him in. Well, then of then course, yeah, right. sure. Yeah. yeah. Outside of that, we got to get him. We got to get him as many reps as possible for the future. So. And yeah, it's thirty-one I mean, to they, nothing. They Please, made go, the decision. By, by the way, I think we I, we haven't hit the nail hard enough that Andy Barry really, really dropped the ball on this. This is one of his more glaring mistakes. But I, I can understand why, though, because it's I can't. You, you come into a season, and who would have predicted Deshaun and Nick Chubb be out? Not, not the, no. You're right, but like it's the NFL and injuries happen. What's that's the mistake? No, how, you know what he did? How he often, got in his car and was driving down the highway and didn't have insurance. But who? 
Who thinks that the quarterback of all people is as protected as they are? They get hurt. You're the they don't get hurt. Why get hurt? Jay, a lot of good teams don't have quality backups. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's on them. I'm not judging them. I'm judging yeah. this team. So you, We knew you, that this team had a solid defense. One of the pillars needed to win. We knew that was in place. We thought everything else was in place in terms of the quarterback and Nick Chubb. Things happen. I get that. But you made the assessment that we're good with DTR, so and you, you weren't. So you didn't, you wasn't singing DTR's praises and praises? I like DTR a ton. Okay. A ton. But He's every, a rookie. It's not at, Jay's every, job to know if DTR is ready. Right. It's Andrew it's, Berry's job yeah, to know and, if he's and ready. And I think that, guys, I just so, think we've let him a little off I the hook. Say, I it don't, was a massive miscalculation. But it's not fair to say he's not re- I don't know if he is or if he isn't. I, if no, you we tell, saw that he's not. If, well, you, tell, saying, if you tell somebody two and a half hours wait, before wait, wait, a game, wait. yeah, you're going to be the starting quarterback. You ain't got no – And we ain't going to change the game. That's also why we're going to say That's not fair. They've decided he's not ready because they're not playing him. Yeah. Well, that, After it, deciding he was, I think he that, was good. I, 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 think that, I think they butchered that. I think they if, if that's the case, they butchered the, the trading dots and they butchering DTR's career, I don't in my think, personal opinion. I have zero. There's, there's no way that you send a kid out there that's not prepared yeah. and expect him I to agree. just ball. And I you agree. ain't going to tailor the game plan. Your yeah. offensive line was trash that game. Your defense didn't really do anything that game. And you just going to completely blame it on him? Yeah. Right. He, he missed a lot of throws and, and he way, threw some picks. But, like, man, come on. It's just for he, he out there spooked. And you know he the same. out there playing backyard ba- uh, football. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. That was his yeah. hello, NFL, I'm here I, moment. My, and they bungled it. Last like, thing, my like only that. beef with Andrew Barry, I don't care that he traded. To Josh Dobbs because I don't think Josh, personally I don't think he's really any better than PJ Walker not much if any but what my problem is the second Watson got hurt they should have addressed it with a quad with a a better veteran the second he got hurt at that point yeah then you I do mean, it we, th- we can split hairs a million ways yeah. I just think when the chapter on this season is over if it doesn't end with a playoff trip there are jobs <coughs> that are going to be lost yeah and if I'm trying to protect my job and I know that the most important position in the game is quarterback. I've got to have a backup. So far, I've got it hasn't to have a plan. Him, it hasn't yet. They've but, been lucky. But, but, you know, he's dodging bullets, man. I yeah. mean, no, that's true. I, yesterday we said it could, they could be five and one. They could just as easily be, be two and four. Two and four. Jay, yeah, you mentioned a backup veteran yeah. quarterback. This next guy on our list is a veteran, been around for quite a while. Tyvis, where in the Kool Aid meter do you fall for one Jameis Winston? I think I got Jameis at like a, what I put him at a seven. A seven. Man, yeah. You guys are crazy. I got him at a, I got Jameis at a seven. <laughs> listen, I know Jameis is a thirty for he known for the thirty for thirty. But man, yeah. listen, he got that. You, you don't know for thirty for 30 30, thirty touchdowns, thirty, 30 touchdowns, thirty picks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But listen, he had eye problems. He got LASIK <laughs> surgery down, and he actually been better. But you talk about a veteran guy that can come in that can read <clears> defense. <throat> That can make the throws. Yeah, he might trust his arm a little bit, but he better than PJ Walker. So you're saying he was blind, but now he sees. That's right. Yeah, he's been better since the LASIK surgery. You can't tell me he wasn't. Like last year, before he got benched for who he get benched for? Was it Taysom Hill? No, no. Who was their quarterback last? It year? was. Um... <laughs> who was their quarterback? Because he got big question. Yeah, I, can't remember. I don't remember either, but he was okay. I think I mean, he ended up getting hurt, actually. Well, they had to notice that his eyes were better in practice. Why didn't they go out and get Carr? I mean, he's got glasses now. They don't trust him. They don't trust him. They don't think the LASIK surgery yeah, But I think, listen, a guy that's he least throws touchdowns. I, that's the the one thing time. that he does that P.J. Walker has yet to do in his yeah. starts is he throws touchdowns. All right, yeah, Jameis is the last thing. I give it a zero. <laughs> wow. All right. In the last five. <laughs> ejected. Last five seasons. Seven. He's thrown 61 touchdowns, which is great. You know how many picks he's thrown? 51. 59. <laughs> 61 touchdowns and 59 you picks. But, you, like get, but you get touchdowns. What about a guy that's thrown two, zero touchdowns? Yeah, you got picks. touchdowns because he had Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. That's so why. why? He we got Amari Cooper. Hey. Yeah, well, the only the only Brown that has a touchdown. Here's the here's the. By the way, Mike Evans is the most underrated wide receiver in the NFL. Bar none. Who calls him underrated? I don't think he's underrated. I think he's totally underrated. He and Keenan Allen, (laughs) two most underrated wide receivers. I love both those guys. guys. Um, I I think if you just go by the the, I I guess the the here test, not the eye test, the here test. If you hear PJ Walker is starting at Seattle, you're like, (laughs) 
Yeah. If you hear Jameis Winston is starting that season, you got a shot. You got a you got a swinging chance. You got a shot. He's he's in, in, in boxing what we call a, a one hit wonder. Wait, you don't think the Browns can win this week? They're only a three point underdog. Um, I think I think I, I think it's tough. I think it's an uphill battle. You I think it's tough. Let's take the Tyvis Powell C- Seahawks. PJ and it also is <laughs> that's true. It, it also isn't a home. But game. that defense has played a lot. They won like, last week because of the defense. That, listen, that, yeah. I get, well, I was going to say against a bad offense, but P- the Browns P- have a bad offense. <laughs> PJ Walker. <laughs> By, by the way, the thought process that P.J. Yeah. Walker is not a turnover machine is crazy. Don't <laughs> say that. He, he should have totally had, had four turnovers last game. We, yeah. No, yeah. He, like, he, the he strip sack he was a strip sack. And, they and he throwing picks and they hitting the well, ground. In his career now, isn't he five touchdowns? <clears throat> 20 five turnovers? touchdowns and with the extra 18. So, five and 18. Is so, 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 so. That's you say, wait, 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 wait. Say that. He got 18 picks? No, turnovers. Oh, and interceptions. Because he's fumble prone, too. And, and so, a lot of people, I hear them, once again, people okay. do this all the time. Boom. Oh, you know what? We, we four and two, and we had P.J. Walker, and he won those. No, he didn't win nothing. You won in spite of that man. He no, but is, is people really saying that? Oh, 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 listen. As much as I'm crapping oh, yeah. on all these guys, I would, t- I would take any of them. <laughs> right, any of them. Like but I'm all not going to give them. it a seven or eight because I'm not excited about it. All right, we got another one up. Who is it? We got a bunch more, so we're going through these. We got a lot of them. We got to go uh, quick. Yeah, next up, Bull. Yeah. You mentioned Andy Dalton before. You asked Jay Gruden about Andy Dalton. Ooh, yeah. Where does Andy Dalton fall on the Kool-Aid meter? I think I gave Andy Dalton a five. But these... Because I, I'm not on the same meter as these. Based on their meters, gotta, I give Andy Dalton a nine. You got to do right. excitement. <laughs> like to you, me, you got to factor well, it is the Kool Aid meter. Right. Yeah, all right. Fair. Like so, that's why. I, that's why everything's jacked up. Yeah. We're all, fair. That's, that's we're all point. jacked up on Kool Aid. Uh, the T meter. I think Andy Dalton. <laughs> to me, uh, with Cousins off the board now, to me, the two best options for the Browns are Brissett and Dalton. Uh, and I look at Andy Dalton now. His playoff record, like Kirk Cousins' playoff record, is poor. Those haven't always been his fault. <coughs> the team has collapsed around him quite a bit. And Andy Dalton has the same reputation of night games. But what Andy Dalton does for the most part in his career, he, there's been exceptions, is he throws to a good completion percentage. Yeah. And he's not overly turnover prone. He's had a couple of years where the turnovers were out of whack. But most of his career, he has not been bad in terms of Turnovers. Yeah. Um, he has a two to one touchdown and interception ratio for as long as he's played. That's pretty good for a, you know a decent quarterback. He's old. You know he's going to turn thirty six. I think next week. Right. But he played earlier this year for Carolina. Threw like fifty passes and played a decent game. Right. I still think. I think he's the best quarter. I think he's better than Brissett. But because Brissett was here, I think it kind of evens he, it up. The familiarity. So it would be, be a toss up between yeah. the two. But I would like. And plus, Andy Dalton. He knows this division, obviously. Yeah. You know? I think so, you're low on, on a five. Again, Yeah, I mean, but, based on the way you guys have been graded, I'd give him a nine. I'll yeah, change it to yeah. a nine. I, I'd give him an eight or a nine, too. The, yeah. The, for me, the experience factor is off the charts. Yeah. We, we, you're not going into Seattle with P.J. Walker or DTR as and of, beating the Seahawks. As of right now, yes, we are. You can write are. that down in ink. Wow, Deshaun is supposed to be playing off of it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that yeah, changes yeah. everything. <sighs> and here's the thing with Dalton and Brissett as compared to, and some of these other guys but we may, I don't know if Ryan Tannehill's coming up or whatever but like Dalton and Brissett have started enough games especially Dalton yeah. but they know who they are now sure yeah Brissett yeah. knows and Dalton knows Dalton's he's not going to go out there and try to play hero ball <laughs> no 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 you know he's going to throw to guys that are open he's going to throw it away when he needs to yeah and he's is not he going to throw Carolina picks. right now yeah and they stink so and he's their backup and what are they one in five? Oh, no, they're six. Six. Oh, six. Oh, six. Yeah. okay so they got they got a good beat on the quarterback on the number one pick for next year. They already traded that pick to the Chicago red to right. draft Bryce oh Young this year. The uh, well, they needed it to trade up for the quarterback oh. who hasn't been good so far. But uh, Dalton, Dan- Dalton will he- pepper Amari Cooper all day long. He he finds he the guy he likes and he yeah. hits him. Well, good. Ryan Tannehill yeah. was considered, but his base salary this season was twenty seven million. Yeah. So <laughs> even at a prorated rate, <laughs> you'd be taking on about eighteen. No, nah, that they're not going to do zero percent chance of Ryan him, Tannehill. No. Not included. G. Yeah. Bush, you are next up. The Cowboys traded for Trey Lance earlier this season, which made Cooper Rush their third-string quarterback. Had to throw a couple names on here that people hadn't Did talked about yet. Did you say Cooper Rush? What do you Rush? think about Cooper yeah. Rush on the Kool-Aid meter, G? Um, I think I had him. Let me, let me look at my notes. I, I, I got him at a six. I got him at a six. And, and this, this, I have him at a six because Man. it's it's a – Bless you. Thank you. It's untapped potential, <laughs> what people think about, right? So they're like, well, I seen him play a little bit. Played for the Cowboys. It looked like when he came in for Dak Prescott, he did his thing. And guess what? 
uh, he, he played and won some games. I think people like guys that look like they haven't played a, a lot, like Andy Dalton or Brissett, because you know what they are, and we they know what they are. When you get somebody like Cooper Rush, you're like, <coughs> could he be a guy that could get some more out of his body than we thought? Or could he be could he be a guy that you could keep long term? Yeah. Like he's he, he has that type of energy around him. And just for excitement purposes, I would go for six mm -hmm. on, on this on a scale of one to ten. I, I give it six Kool-Aid meter head. I didn't realize Cooper Rush was almost thirty. Yeah, he's I thought he was younger. And isn't he he's still the backup in Dallas? He no, is Trey Lance Trey Lance. listed as yes. QB two or well, Rush or Lance. They actually when, don't when have Jack had to come out QB2. though, Cooper Rush was the guy that went in. Right. He did, yeah. So, I mean, in my mind, his, I'm looking at him as a backup. I don't think when, when Dak got hurt last year. What's that? What was he Cooper won? Like? I think he went four and one. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he played, played very he played well. Very good. I mean, they got the same recipe. That defense carried them. So yeah, yeah. and I, I just, just don't see I, even though they have Trey Lance, Dallas and is it, trying to win a Super Bowl. They're not going to if they're using Cooper Rush as their backup now, which they are. I think they look at Lance as. The future backup, maybe even a future starter. It's a project. But for yeah. this year, I still think Cooper Rush is their backup. They're trying to win yeah. and get to the playoffs. I don't think they're going to trade Cooper. And yeah. teams that are trying to win and get in the playoffs don't trade their backup quarterback. Remember that. Well, they, Amar, Cooper, the Brown. Amar Cooper's here, so he has somebody he got chemistry with. Go okay. ahead, McNuggets. All right, next up, and we're going to spend a little time on this one, Jay. I know this is the one you are most excited about. But yeah. What about possibly making a phone call to a part-time owner of the Las Vegas Raiders and convincing him to come back play football? What about Tom Brady? I'm calling him. I'm calling him. This, was he, he a gonna, free agent? He's not going to answer. He's retired. He's no, but I'm saying, had he be like he didn't get out of his contract early with Tampa, right? He was. I don't done. think so. No, his contract I, had officially so expired. So he could, he is a free in agent. theory, just yes. sign with anybody. He, he so Jay, where on, where on the Kool Aid meter scale do you follow Tom Brady? Well, eleven wasn't available, so I went with I went with nine. I couldn't go all the way to a ten. Because, again, I, I think the likelihood – I was low on I Kirk Cousins yeah. because I thought the, li the likelihood – yeah, what is that picture with him? Is he running in a wind tunnel? Yeah, bro. Um, I, I thought the unlikelihood of Kirk Cousins was, was not happening, so I went low on him. I don't think the likelihood of this is happening, but I wanted to talk about the Browns and Tom Brady. You think it's more likely time. Tom Brady than Kirk Cousins? Yes, because Kirk Cousins – and I checked around yesterday. Kirk Cousins was definitively not leaving Minnesota. Definitively, like I know it was reported. Yeah, he was not leaving Minnesota. I tell you so what. I, that was like a, a brick wall for me. I know I don't know what the heck this guy does or what what I know what drives him. What drives him is competition. And I know that he desperately misses that competition. So for me, why not? Of All course, I can say is no, and then you go on to your next candidate. Yeah, I, I don't agree that it, there's more likely that he would come out of retirement than they that they could talk Kirk Cousins into changing his mind. But, of course, it's a 10 because why wouldn't you make the call? Make the call. I don't think there's any way on earth. Why would he come to the Browns when they don't have much talent on offense The only right way now? he could come you to the Browns. Someone asked me that yesterday, and yeah. I, said, I said, if you're Tom Brady, now, again, maybe conventional wisdom doesn't apply for us. Yeah. But if you're Tom Brady, why would you do it? Think of what that would do to his resume if he wins here. Yeah. If he's looking at this defense, and by the way, he made some interesting comments a couple of weeks ago that were fascinating to me. He said, man, this watching football on TV is wild. It's a whole new perspective. I have a whole new perspective. When you're on the field, you're just seeing your field point of view. And now that I'm watching it from the stands, everything looks different, and I'm even seeing some clarity. That wasn't perhaps there when I played. I don't think he's doing it. I don't think. But he... I think it would be. It would be. If 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 it was reported today that the Browns talked to Tom Brady and he took their call, sports radio in this city would bananas. would explode. Yeah. All Browns fans would explode with excitement. It's it's just worth a. Flyer of a call. Uh, of course. That's what I'm saying. If, if I don't, I don't, Brady, in terms of his resume, he can't boost his resume anymore. If, no, if yeah, Tom he Brady come here and win a ring, oh yeah. my God. He, he went to Tampa Bay and won Sands Belichick with a non playoff team. If he came to Cleveland and won, and won a Super Bowl, that'd be the best That would he be ever bigger had. than Francona ending the drought in Boston and with the Cubs ending their drought with Madden. This would be. All time, Agreed. what did I just watch? But he's, yeah, he's never going to do it. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it would be awesome. You, you're never going to do it. Deshaun Watson would go 
off the radar, off the grid, and go move to a cave. Deshaun who? And, and yeah. he, he requests a trade immediately and then not play. But no one's taking that contract. I mean, he'd have to play you, you'd, next we, year. We, we'd be By the way, you know what would happen, right, if that happened? What? No. Is that Tom Brady would finally go off the cliff in terms of playing. Yeah, and then they, you're right. And then it would say, <laughs> come here and he'd have nine years. Terrible. And, no and then they would say, Cleveland kills everything, <laughs> including Tom Brady's yeah. glorious <laughs> career. We got a couple more going to fly through these because we yeah. got to grade some PFF graders before we bring on Mary Kay. So, Tyvis, <coughs> you're up next. How about Tyrod Taylor? Any interest in the Giants' backup quarterback? I think I gave it a five or something. Another like former that. Brown. Right? Yeah. We got a lot of them out there. I gave him a five. I mean, he knows the game. He's mobile. He fits in with what pretty much the Browns look for in quarterbacks now. He's black, he's mobile, and he fits. <laughs> he's black. <laughs> <laughs> you know what time is though? I'll give you this. The room has been black for two years. Yeah, I don't know like, why y'all act like, 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 like this. And, and, and here's the thing. If you're going to get a mobile quarterback, I need you to, to be actually mobile. Like, I don't want to be sitting back. P.J. Walker be patting too much on me. I need you to take off, homie. Yeah, right. Like, like give me some yards. You know, with all that sitting back in the pocket yeah. stuff sound good, RG3. I mean, you got to be. But it's, it, no. Yeah. Our no. line is still, it's been better, but it ain't great. So, you got to be able to move and maneuver in that pocket. He actually does a pretty good job of doing that. It's been decent for the, for the Giants. I don't know about great, but he's been decent. And he's already been in the Browns. He wasn't here with Kevin Stefanski, but he's been in the city. He's been around some of these players. So, I think it would be. Nice. You have to factor that in. Not you many know. of them, but yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, I think that Antonio. in general, um, the NFL has devalued the starting quarter, the backup quarterback position at its own peril. Once upon a time, back in the day, and I know the game has changed <coughs> dramatically, but you would see a backup with a team for six, seven, eight years. When, when the Dolphins finished their undefeated season in 72 and mm-hmm. Greasy went out, Earl Morrill came in and famously guided them through the troubled waters and allowed them to continue to go on their Super Bowl path. Now, I know it's because of money and free agency. Yeah, that's what it is. But I I would like to see a team. I mean, you look at Kansas City just a couple of years ago. They had a backup come in that had been with the team for a number of years. And when they needed a big fourth down pickup in a playoff game against the Browns, they had a guy yeah, that they had faith There in. are teams that have that. There are. There but are. But in most, general, it used to be all of the teams. I know, but nowadays. They change teams because of money. Right. Well, but, and guys want to play. If they're any good as a backup, they want to get a chance to play. I don't For the blame most them. part, when yeah. I looked at all the backups in the league yesterday. For yeah. the most part, <coughs> I think there's six to eight of them that could play. Maybe if they were in another team with another situation. For the most part, these guys are backups. That, that's who they are. Chase. But when they're and young, they don't think that. They they no, of course get their, they don't, yeah. particularly if they're a high draft pick. Right. But, like, a guy like Baker, 20 years ago, if he washed out with the Browns, probably hooks up with the Broncos, and he's a backup for eight years. Now these guys all want to play, and the teams are still enamored by their college resumes. Yeah, that's true. And they give them deals. We're going to fly through these last through. It's whoever person's Kool-Aid meter, as you can explain it. We'll move on because everyone's got one more. Then we're going to grade some PFF grades. Carson Wentz Bowl, uh, not very high in Carson Wentz. Uh, Carson Wentz stinks. He turns – he's so weird. Is there a Kool-Aid in there? Okay. Uh, he, I gave him a one. Just flavor pack. There's a reason Carson Wentz is <laughs> no a free sugar. agent. Nothing. The guy has talent, but he's getting – you know, it just nobody likes him. His teammates <laughs> don't seem to like him. And he's had, like, a number of good seasons. He never comes through in the clutch. He's – the last couple times we've seen him, he looks scared to death. Like, he's always afraid of making a mistake, and then he makes mistakes. Yeah. I, again, there's a reason why a guy this talented is still out in the free agent market. And I, 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 yeah. I think if the Browns were going to sign him, they would have done it already. All right, G, you're up next. How about but he's Carson better than PJ Wentz? <laughs> Carson Wentz, you went with a, uh, a four here for Carson Wentz. Yeah, no, man. Uh, and that's kind of low. Nick Foles, excuse me. Nick, <clears> Nick that's Foles, kinda, yeah. Nick that's kind of like, that, you like Nick Foles. That's kind of low for me, right? Yeah. Nick uh, no, the, the, the four, Nick Foles is okay, but he's been out the game a little bit. Um, and you got to you gotta take into consideration what Tyvis said. Unless he's going to wake up and be mobile tomorrow, uh, he might not fit the description of what they want in Cleveland. Like, he could throw the football. I would bring him in, but I just don't foresee <laughs> – like if, if I heard that headline, Browns bring in Nick Foles, I, I even even though he's better than PJ Walker, I just can't see it. I just can't. Like so, um, you know, four I give four out of uh, four out of ten Kool Aid heads. Mm. Jay, you're up next with your final one. How about Bailey Zappi, the second slash third string quarterback, <laughs> the yeah. putridly offensively 
New England Patriots. Yeah, he sucks. I wasn't excited about him. <laughs> I gave I gave a four only because it's the Kool Aid meter. I was probably at like a one or a two, but because it's the Kool Aid meter. In real life, in I real life, is a spice. two. In real life, he's a two. Um, <laughs> Who are we talking about? Bailey Zappi. Zappi. He's had some moments. <laughs> he beat, I, up, he I, beat I, us. I, last I, year. I went back Hung and looked. Forty on us. Yeah, I know. I went back and looked, and it's really surprising to me that, and and it's a testament to Bill Belichick. He has stuck with Mac Jones. At his own peril. They're calling for his job. There are people calling for his job in Boston. And it would have been so easy for him to change out quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Yet he stuck with them and Mac Jones responds with the last second touchdown pass to beat a very good Buffalo Bills team, which has owned the Patriots since Brady left town. And even going back further than that. So I give a lot of credit to Belichick for sticking with Mac Jones it must tell you that Bailey Zappi is looking pretty bad in practice. Man, so I just couldn't get excited about it. Last one, Tyvis, it's all you. How about Cam Newton? Revive from the dead? Oh How does God. that is he fit into the Kool-Aid he's, meter? He's long gone, Stop. right? I said, what did I give Cam Newton? A six? Dang! Oh my God. Wow! Well, this is for excitement reasons. Okay. It's excitement. You hear Cam Newton, Superman, all that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I His mean, big hat. Yeah, he's mobile. He, he still can run the ball. His arm is shot, it's crazy. And, that, and that was the craziest part about him. But I think from an excitement standpoint, he would be nice for people to be like, oh, we got Cam Newton, a former MVP. But, you know, if you ask him to deliver a ball down the field to Marquise Goodwin, <laughs> that's not going to happen. So 